to find these people now. Okay, boys. Watching PAX TV. Share the wonder. This is Tollison. I take my babysitting job very seriously. I hope you understand me wanting to meet you. I'm a little nervous about leaving Keith overnight. The police auxiliaries are going to have a whole big chili cook-off. You've entered a contest. You're not the only one around here who knows how to make chili cookies. Burning a house is not as easy as I make it look, you know. You want to try it sometime. I mean cooking, cleaning, ironing, washing, shopping, everything. Listen, it's the baby. I think something's wrong with him. What are you saying? I, I think the child has been abused. man on TV. Cosby's coming. Starting September 25th on PAX TV. Do you see what happened on the street today? Oh, I'm so tired of these internet stocks. Pie, sell. There's no logic to them. Well, what do you want from two 20-year-old kids and a, and a computer? You seem to be doing very well these days. What's your investment secret? Well, it's no secret. I just do what the banks do. Oh, come on, Bill, you're a CPA, not a banker. How much money can you make? In just one month, I turned $5,000 into $15,000 in a small move in the Japanese yen. Wait, $5,000 into $15,000 in one month? Are, are you kidding? No, Tom, this is what banks do all around the world. Interest rates, political changes, real events, not based on some company that may turn a profit in five years. Ah, uh, but the move in the Japanese yen already happened. Uh, I missed out. Not at all. Look, there are five main currency markets. Something's going on all the time. As a matter of fact, the biggest opportunity yet is happening as we speak. Bigger than 5,000 into 15,000? That could very well be. The new euro currency, the profit potential could be monumental. Call the number on your screen now and receive your free, no obligation, information on trading foreign currencies. Termout kills termites, roaches, and ants. Spray the insects home, not your own. Termout is the practical aerosol insecticide. Mercury Insurance offers great service at a low price. So why haven't you called? Oh, I don't believe it. Well, they've got a great track record. Yeah? Prove it. Okay. 95% of our policyholders renew their auto insurance with us. That many? Mm-hmm. Must be pretty good service. The service is better than good, and so are the savings. Just call a local Mercury agent or broker and find out. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, hey, hey, that's my phone. Oh, it's worth a call. 1-888-4-MERCURY real people real stories it's a miracle what do you believe thursdays at 8 7 central on pax tv grandpa says the grass is always greener in the other fellow's pasture i'm not real sure exactly what that means but i do know that there are times when i sure wish my family was more normal not normal normal I mean, not so weird. For instance, my sister Molly wants us all to be like the Huxtables on television. That's what I mean about being weird. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? to California and leave my poor sweetheart alone if he has a dog he won't be lonesome and the doggy will have a good home how much is that doggy in the wind I 
the papers, they're around. Bark, Arthur, bark! It's never going to work, and it's all your fault. <laughs> How long have you been watching me? Oh, not very long, but you're very good. No, I'm not. Oh, honey, you are. Arthur, get off this bed. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. See what happens when you let him on the bed? What's the matter with you, huh? David isn't Theo, and Chris isn't Denise, and I'm not Rudy. You got that right. Who are they? The Huxtables. Oh, the new family over on Monroe Street. I know who they are. I know the Cosbys when I hear their names. They're always laughing and telling jokes and having fun. They even put on shows for each other. I wanted to put on a show for you and Grandpa, but no one would help. How come? David and Chris are too busy, and Arthur won't bark when he's supposed to. Well, honey, life isn't as easy as it is on television. Or as much fun. Yeah. Sorry. Hello. Hey, big guy. How's school? Pretty good. Tommy Madsen, he brought cookies that his mom made and sold them for a quarter each. Really? That must have been pretty good, huh? Pretty good. They were great. She makes them from scratch. You should try it sometime. I have tried it sometime. You yeah. have? How can you still buy them from the store? Well, because I have a full-time job and I run a household, I don't have time to be making cookies from scratch. Claire Huxtable bakes fresh cookies. Yeah, and she's a lawyer and a mom, too. Maybe I'll have to ask her how she does it. But I've got a feeling she's hiding something from us. No, she isn't. Every week we see the Huxtables having a good time. Are you complaining? No, Mom. It's just that maybe if you arranged your schedule better, we would have time for things like homemade cookies. Hey, listen. Running a house is a lot tougher than I make it look, you know. You ought to try it sometime. If we didn't have school. You don't have school on the weekend. You're serious? David. Sure. Why don't you try it for two whole days? You can even show me how Mrs. Huxtable does it. You mean everything. We're going to be in charge. Yes. Cooking, cleaning, ironing, dusting, waxing the floors, doing the laundry. What do you say, huh? But we're just kids. Well, the Huxtable kids wouldn't use that tired, lame excuse oh, now, please, would they? Mom. You know you're just saying that expecting us to chicken out. <laughs> Try me. Try me. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Oh, look who's here. Hello, Gus. Chrissy, how are you? It's hot in here. What are you guys doing in here? Now, what do you think we're doing? We're shopping like you. Oh, well... I'll see you later. Mr. Kaplan, what are all those kidney beans for? What kidney beans? Those. Those? Oh! Oh, those! Those kidney beans! Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know. I was gonna make a, uh... uh... You're gonna make chili. Well, there's no law against it. So what if I am gonna make chili? Spicy chili mix ole. Right. You don't put beans in it. Not if you're serious. Of course I'm serious. I'll tell you something else, sir. The police auxiliaries are going to have a whole big chili cook-off. You've entered a contest. You're not the only one around here who knows how to make chili, Gus. <laughs> you don't know how. Well, I certainly do. You've never tasted it. I don't want to taste it. It's clear to me that what you got in your basket, you don't know the first thing about making chili. Come on, honey. Well, I'll tell you something. These kidney beans, they were not going to be to go in the chili in the first place. They were going to be for something entirely different. Molly, this is going to be a piece of cake. It's going to be a pain in the neck and a lot of work. Then to organize. Grandpa said you're never organized. Molly, look, I figure that we can do twice as much as work as Mom. Remember, there's two of us and only one of her. David, Mom's a grown-up, and I'm only eight years old. Will you relax? And look, here's the brilliant part. We'll always be doing two jobs at once. David, I'm not sure we can do one job at once. Okay, here's how it works. Say, you've washed your hair, and you're going to use the hairdryer. I washed my hair this morning. I'll give you a new example, Molly. You hook it up down in the living room, and then you also use it to blow the dust off of everything. And I come back and vacuum it all up while my made-from-scratch cookies are baking. When did you make the cookies? I'll make them while the laundry's washing. 
Okay, Molly, after we eat, I'll clear the table and you stack the dishes, but don't wash them. I want to be at Bertha's house when Grandpa finds out we didn't wash the dishes. We'll wait until after supper to wash the dishes. That way we can do them all at once. Now, is that good or is that good? Don't tell Chris I had anything to do with this, okay? Why not? I hate it when she laughs at me. Well, Chrissy, what do you think? <laughs> I hope you understand me wanting to meet you. I'm a little nervous about leaving Keith overnight. Oh, with a baby this cute, I don't blame you. I do the same thing. Now, he's just starting to crawl, so you're going to have to wash him every minute. And uh, he's on a regular feeding schedule now, normal meal time. And he's teething, so be prepared for his crying all through the night. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. No visitors. I'm sorry? She means no boys. Mrs. Tollison, I take my babysitting job very seriously. And I don't have boys ever when I do it. <laughs> No, no. Okay, I'm overreacting, and you're hired. <laughs> good. I promise I'll take very good care of Keith. Well, I'm glad that is finally settled. <laughs> um, when do you need me over? I'm leaving tonight. I want to make sure I don't miss my uh, brother's bachelor party. And I'm flying out in the morning, uh, so could you be over at the house at uh, 11? Oh, sure. I'd never be late for a date this cute. No. I think you're bonkers to let them run the house. I'm just glad I'm staying over at Mrs. Tollefson's. Off two days, I think we can handle it. What about you? Can you handle it? Taking care of the baby, you mean? Well, I know that you can call if something comes up. I know we're only about ten minutes away. You know, you are just like Mrs. Tollefson. Neither one of you trust me. Oh, you're only partly right about that. We do share one thing, Mrs. Tollefson and I. We are both. Worried about our babies. Oh, great. Next, you'll be giving me tips on how to change their diapers. Oh, that's easy. All you've got to do is hold your breath and squint. <laughs> what happened to his man? Uh, he decided to climb out of the crib and he fell. You know what I told you yesterday? You can't take your eyes off him for a moment. Okay, I know I'm forgetting something. Um... I told you about the, the feeding and the diaper rash, and there's ointment in the bathroom for that. Right. And all of the important numbers are here, the hotel, reception hall, uh, and the number for our medical plan. Uh, taxi. Go. Are you sure that you want to do this? I mean, I don't have to go to this wedding. Don't really. worry. It's all right. Go to the wedding and have a good time. Besides, Mr. Tollison is waiting for you. You're right. Okay. So you're not hungry, and... Oh, great. This is going to be a real fun weekend. Morning, Gus. Morning. Hope I'm not disturbing you. I would have come over earlier, but I was busy cooking. Chili. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good if I do say so myself. I spice it up with... Uh, my own exotic ingredient, Guatemalan horseradish. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, nothing. Well, I'll have you know that it does give it a taste that's... hot. It's hot. <laughs> Probably a tip on your chili recipe. I'll get it. Oh, great. Make fun of my chili. You wouldn't help me yesterday in the market. Thanks a lot. You didn't ask me. I don't know where you got this recipe. Did you put the peanut butter in it? Peanut butter? Chunky peanut butter. Hello. Molly. Molly! It was David's idea. I'm only vice president, so I have to do it. Molly, 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 you can't be done yet. Look. Oh, hi, Mom. You're just doing a little house cleaning. In a very unusual way, I see. Yeah, it works. It's faster than the other way. We're really ahead of schedule. Yes. 
Chris is on the phone for you. Hi, honey, what's up? Mom, listen, it's the baby. No, he won't stop crying. It's not regular crying either. Mom, I think something's wrong with him. Something's really wrong. Health Techs, play clothes for life's little lessons. Visit us at healthtechskids.com. I need you to find these people now. Okay, boys, release the hounds. Someone's been here. Searching for someone at your car insurance company after dark? At GEICO Direct, we're here 24 hours a day. In fact, one 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Are you tired of cleaning over and over again, only to have the same old stains come right back? Then don't clean your kitchen or bathroom. Zap it! Presenting Zap 2000, the professional strength restorer used by contractors for over seven years. Zap 2000 is as easy as one, two, three. Just pour it on, let it sit, and wipe it off. And in minutes, your surfaces are back like new. Zap 2000 is a restorer, not a cleaner. Ordinary cleaners only work on surface dirt, but Zap 2000 actually penetrates stains to restore surfaces to their original new shine. You pour it out, you leave it set, there's no rubbing, there's no scrubbing. You go back a couple of minutes later and you just wipe it up and it's all done. This shower head is clogged with hard water and mineral deposits, but look, after just one application with Zap 2000, it's restored like new. And watch as Zap 2000 goes to work on this old garden shovel. Years of rust just melt away. Zap 2000 with its fresh wintergreen scent works on porcelain, chrome, fiberglass, toilet bowls, rust, even hard water stains. In fact, Zap 2000 is so effective, it's guaranteed to remove any stain from any of these surfaces or your money back. It restored my grout to bright white, it cleaned my tile, the bathroom surfaces, it lifted that soap scum off, cleaned the hard water stains, the rust, and the smell is fantastic. Zap 2000 is so concentrated, just one bottle replaces over $50 worth of ordinary cleaners. Call now and receive Zap 2000 Restorer plus Zap 2000 Easy Spray Cleaner and two industrial Zap pads, all for only $19.95. But wait, call in the next five minutes and we'll double your order for free. That's right, four bottles of Zap 2000 for only $19.95. Operators are standing by, so call the toll-free number or send check or money order to Zap 2000, Box 2220, Agora Hills, California, 91376. Remember, call in the next five minutes to receive two free bottles of Zap 2000. Order now. There's a new face this September on PAX TV. The Video Computer Store brings the best in home television shopping to your living room every Sunday morning. Live call-ins, special guests, the latest in computer-related news. You'll find it all every Sunday morning on PAX TV. Video Computer Store monthly payment plans mean you'll get the right computer for the right price. Computer, monitor, printer, scanner, and lots of great software at an incredible package price. Tune in every Sunday morning on PAX TV. Can the Internet really be a safe place for our kids? It certainly can with Paxway, a reliable Internet access service designed to keep your kids safe. With Paxway, I can be on as long as I want, shout with my friends, build my own website, and never have to worry about any of the offensive stuff. It's great for games. And it's great for homework. You can order Paxway now for a one-month free trial. Simply call 1-877-PAXWAY-1 or log on to Paxway.com for the safest place your kids can visit. Paxway is awesome! I'm sorry, but I was so worried. I mean, he hasn't stopped crying since they left, and I don't know what to do. I tried everything. I mean, I changed his diapers, and I gave him a new bottle, and he won't even take it. You check for pins in his diapers? They have tape nowadays, Mom. Anyway, I held him, and I sang to him, but nothing seems to work. I don't even know what to do. I think it's his arm. Uh, Mrs. Tollefson said that he fell out of his crib. Yeah. And every time I touch his arm, he just seems to cry louder and harder. I think we better call a doctor. You got a number? Yeah, they have a medical plan. Oh, you know what? I think I left it on the table. Oh, here it is, sweetie. Yeah. Okay. Shop number? Yeah. 
Aren't you glad I wasn't this much trouble when I was a baby? Hmm. Yeah, you had your moments, all right, though. <laughs> Gus, we've got a problem over here with Tollefson's baby. I think we've got to go to the doctor. Can you pick us up? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there in just a few minutes. Okay, thanks. We'll be on front. David? Yeah? I got to go pick up your mom and your sister and run an errand. You can vacuum the living room now. Well, Grandpa just started on the laundry. You decide. It's your schedule. Is that everything? No. Molly! There's more? We still have to strip the sheets off the beds. It's gonna take forever just to do the laundry. Wait a minute, I have an idea. We only sleep on one side of the sheets, right? So, only one side is dirty, right? Right. So, all we have to do is flip the sheets over so the clean side is on the top. That's gross. No, it's not. It's efficient. It's called getting the maximum use out of your sheets. Besides, no one will know. I will. What's the matter with the baby, Doctor? I don't know. We're going to have to wait until he gets an x-ray. Does that mean he'll have to stay here overnight? He may, but I hope not. Hospital rooms can be pretty scary when you're young. There's no real picnic when you're old. At any rate, we won't know anything until he gets an x-ray. So I have to see a few other patients. In a short while, the nurse will come out with Keith, and then we'll be able to know what the next step will be. If you'd like some coffee or some soup while you're waiting, there are vending machines down the hall. There's also a very fine selection of junk food, but don't tell anybody I told you. See you later. Thanks, Doctor. No, sure. Bet. See, I told you. Everything worked out fine. We washed one load, and the time takes Mom to wash three. Well, those are mine, and I want them ironed. Do it on your own, then. It's Grandpa's shirt. Uh-oh. What uh-oh? Nothing. Molly, I didn't know Grandpa had any pink shirts. He didn't, until now. Molly, well, look at this. Everything that was white is now pink. Grandpa's going to make us go live with Mrs. Tao. Will you relax? Getting pink things white is no problem. I just wanted to put on a show like they do on Cosby. Okay, hand me the bleach, Molly. David, we're already in enough trouble. Hand me the bleach, will you? This stuff is supposed to get clothes whiter than white. Think that's enough? Oh, doctor. This coffee's terrible. <laughs> Not like I make it home. Oh, sorry about that. I should have warned you. So, uh, did you find out what you needed about the x-rays? Mr. Witherspoon, can I, uh... Speak to you for a moment, please. Sure. Excuse me, ma'am. Privately. Yeah. You leave the way. In here? Yeah. Inhalation therapy. Inhalation therapy. Have a seat, Mr. Witherspoon. Now, what I have to say is a little bit touchy. How so? Show you something here. The x-ray clearly shows that the baby's elbow is dislocated. But I don't think that Keith fell out of his crib. You don't? No, I do not. What do you think? In my preliminary examination, I found several bruises and finger marks on Keith's upper arm, which indicates to me that it was caused by something other than a fall. Like what? What are you saying? Well, I have a lot of question, Mr. Witherspoon, and I don't like any of the possible answers. I, I think the child has been abused. Hi. 
Mary Beth Hoyt here. As a stunt woman and the mother of two great kids, staying in shape is essential for me. If you're looking for a quick, inexpensive way to get in shape, check out the Ab Force. It combines a tried and true workout with modern technology, and it only costs $19.99. Exercise machines like the Torso Track are expensive and can cost over $250. Why spend more when you get a great workout and save money with the Ab Force? And that's a fact. It works both ways, concentrically and eccentrically, to give you a more efficient workout. Ab Force really concentrates your movement, your position, so that it totally hits the abs. The bottom line is the Ab Force will give you more bang for your buck and a great workout. Why spend over $250 when the Ab Force is in a class of its own? And don't worry about what shape you're in right now. The Ab Force is great for beginners and can challenge seasoned bodybuilders too. Just imagine how great it would be if you had tighter abs and a flatter, firmer stomach. Unlike other machines that use one movement, the smooth inline skate design of the Ab Force gives you stability, yet allows you the flexibility to move from left to right, customizing your workout. Tighten the lower and the upper abs with one movement, and at the same time sculpt your obliques while firming your back, strengthening your shoulders, and toning the arms. The Ab Force is compact and lightweight and can help you get the body you've always wanted. Order now and you'll receive the Ab Force for just $19.99. That's right, one payment of $19.99. But if you call right now, we'll also include the special Ab Force knee support, specially designed to make your workout the most comfortable ever. That means you get the Ab Force and the knee support, all for just $19.99. So call the number on the bottom of your screen right now. Here's how to order. To order Ab Force for only $19.99 plus shipping, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-922-1999. That's 1-800-922-1991. Call now. Coming live September 27th, he's one of Hollywood's legendary Go tough guys. Here. It's the world's biggest live online auction. Sold to the internet. iVid Live presents a once-in-a-lifetime event, the Treasures of James Cagney Auction on PAX TV. Who could say no? Register at www.ividlive.tv to bid on hundreds of Cagney's personal items, including his Oscar for Best Actor. I want the Brooklyn Bridge, what are you going to do is ask for? Don't miss the excitement of Auction Live, the Treasures of James Cagney, September 27th at 6 Eastern on PAX TV. Register now. It's going to be a dandy. Our house will return in a moment on PAX TV. I guess it was about a year ago something really different happened to me. The inventor of this machine, the torso track, asked me to give him one minute of my time. I did, and for one minute I did this exercise. I could have done more, but he said, that's enough. Well, the next morning when I woke up, ooh, my stomach burned, my abs burned, my chest, obliques, and my back. I felt like I had spent hours at the gym. I knew I had to have one of these machines. Well, it has been a year now with my torso track, and I just want to say I'm in the best shape of my life. It doesn't matter if you're just starting to work out or if you're Frank Zane, three-time Mr. Universe. Torso Track will adjust to your fitness level. Now, how about giving me a minute of your time? Call and we'll send you a Torso Track to try, risk-free. Call now and we'll send you a Torso Track to try in your own home for one month, risk-free. If you decide to keep it, we'll give you a year to pay, interest-free. Order your Torso Track today. Call 1-800-224-0229. David, Molly. We're in here, Mr. Kaplan. Listen, I was just talking to your mother on the phone, and Gladys and I would like you to come over to our house tonight for dinner. What are you having? Well, we're having liver, but Gladys has this very interesting way of disguising it. Oh, no. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Kaplan. But um, Molly and I are going to make our own dinner tonight. Meatloaf. Meatloaf? You guys know how to make meatloaf? Yeah. Grandpa gave me this great recipe that I can use. Does your grandpa have a recipe for chili laying around the house? Well, his recipes are in his recipe tin. I tell you what. I'll hang around here while you guys make meatloaf. And who knows? Maybe I can learn something. Yeah, we've been learning things all day long. No. He didn't say. No, ma'am. No, but the doctor was quite certain. It was a dislocated elbow. Don't worry. No, he's okay. And he's home now, too. Look, I don't want you to worry. Chris. Miss Collison, hold on. Yeah? Why don't I reassure her? Thanks. Mr.
Miss Tollison, my mom is here and she would like to talk with you for a second. Okay, here she is. Uh, Mrs. Tollison. Hi, Jesse with a spoon. I just want you to know that I'm going to stay here until you get home. Well, now that's all right. I know you'd do the same thing for me if my kids were in trouble. I was going to say, relax and enjoy your trip, but I know you couldn't do that. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, I'm sure you'll be fine. You bet. Okay. Here's Chrissy. Hi. I will. Right. Well, my grandfather is rocking him asleep right now. <laughs> yeah, he's an old pro. Right. Okay, well, have a good trip. And a safe trip home, too? Okay, good. Okay, right, bye. <sighs> that was the toughest phone call I've ever had to make. She seemed pretty reassured to me. Do you think we did the right thing? By not mentioning what the doctor told Grandpa about abuse? I don't think there's any advantage in telling her that right now. I just can't believe it. I mean, I know the kids talk about Mr. Tollison and the short fuse he has, but... Have you seen that yourself? Well, there's this one kid in my class, and he's always goofing around. And Mr. Tollison blew up at him. What did he do? Well, it's not so much what he did as the way he looked. How did he look? Well, his face got really red. And his veins just start to stand out, you know? And in a way, it was kind of scary. Asleep? Yeah. Seemed okay. He's probably down for the count. Thank you, Grandpa. Both of you. I don't know what I would have done. I'm going to stay here with Chrissy until the folks get back. How long's that? They said that they were going to get the first flight in the morning. Well, you won't need me, then. I'm going home and relieve Kaplan. Oh, by the way, the social worker called while you were upstairs. Seems the doctor called her office. She'll be here first thing in the morning. Good. I think she should. Molly, you want some more milk? Okay. David, I really got to hand it to you. You make a mean meatloaf, kid. Thanks, Mr. Kaplan. Yes, sir. We couldn't have done without your help, though. Uh, did you find my grandpa's chili recipe okay? Yes. It looks like this is it. The only thing, there's no mention of um, peanut butter here. My grandpa doesn't put peanut butter in his chili. He doesn't. You serious? I'm positive. I hope him was. Peanut butter is about the only thing he doesn't put in. Huh. That's, that's funny. I don't know why. One friend would lie to another friend about something like uh, peanut butter and chili. <laughs> David, how are we going to get this all cleaned up? It'll take forever. <clears throat> you know what we need, Molly? What? Excuse me. We need a dishwasher. We can get all of the dishes done at once, like the laundry. You want all the dishes to turn red? <laughs> Very funny. I wasn't making a joke, David. I'm tired of this. Molly, just relax. I just got this great idea. Hey, guys, take... I, I'm going to go watch a little TV. Now, promise, when Gus comes back, don't tell him that I checked out his recipe, OK? OK. Well, well why don't you want him to know? Well, because it's, it's a secret, that's all. You know? You know how us old fogies get? Just a secret. Okay, now, now as I was saying, take these dishes over here, right? Now we put them all in a pile, okay? Oh, you're back, huh, Gus? Yeah. Jess and Chris got everything under control. I figured I'd better get back and check on the rest of the kids. Where are they? They're out back. By the way, uh, how's the chili coming? Oh, Gus, I, 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 I decided not to take your advice on the peanut butter. It's too, I don't know, it's too trendy. Better to just stick to basics, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I told you I had a plan. This is going to be great. OK, 
Okay, Mom. Turn on the water. David, this is really dumb. No, it's not. We'll get it done in half the time. Just watch. Now turn it on. Well, even, don't even think about reaching for that faucet. If you do, you won't sit down for a week. Now coil up that hose neatly. And you, sir. Any more hair brain schemes, you run them by me first, okay? Grandpa, Mom said that we could I have... I don't want to hear what your mom said. All I want to hear is you kids stacking up these dishes and carrying them in the house. Now get busy. Come on, chop, chop. Here we go. Here we go. Put it in there. Come on. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Hello, Chris. Hi. Hi there, young fella. <laughs> How's he doing? Oh, pretty good. He slept pretty well. He was crying once, but I changed him and um, gave him some pain medicine. Dr. Morris gave you that? Yeah. He said that he could take one, one every four hours. I wonder, before the parents get back, is there anything you'd like to tell me confidentially? No, ma'am. How do you know the Tollefsons? He's one of my teachers. A popular teacher? Oh, yeah. I guess he is. I think he's a pretty good teacher. Anything about him that might cause you concern? I mean, about him being around a baby. Not really. Why do you hesitate? Because I really like Mr. Tollefson. And I don't want to speculate and say something that might get him into trouble, unfairly. Believe me, Chris, nobody in my office wants to cause unnecessary trouble. But our prime concern is for the welfare of that little boy. I presume you agree. Yes, ma'am. I'm not mad at anybody, yet. But you kids keep talking about how you'd like to have this outfit run like the Cosby Show. Well, okay. But if we do, there's some things you have to remember. Dr. Huxtable always wins. That's one. Two, neither he nor I are pushovers. And three, everything doesn't always have a happy ending. You get me? Grandpa, we were just trying to help. Well, I know. But you know, it just might be that somebody older and bigger than you might know what they're doing. That's how you learn things, by listening and watch it. Now, when you kids are all through scrubbing these dishes, you're going to do the housework over again, you get me? Including the laundry. I know about the sheets. Hey there, Pete. Are you glad to have your folks home? <laughs> oh, baby, I don't think I could ever leave you again. Oh, uh, no, you all heard that. I'll make those ski lift tickets for a party of one. You can have that. I'd rather be here. <laughs> I think we ought to be going, huh? Oh, uh, here, Chris. We appreciate you being so conscientious. Thanks. I'm just sorry it had to end up this way. Well, we'll probably never know how it happened, but the important thing is he's going to be okay. And we're grateful there were people to take care of him. Thanks again. Sure. Yes, thanks, Chris. And thank you, Mrs. Witherspoon. We'll call and make sure he's all right. Please, too. We'll see ourselves out. Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye. <laughs> uh, now, is there something else we can do for you? Uh, you're from the hospital, is that right? No, the Department of Social Services. The hospital called us in. Is that standard? In a case like this, yes. Well, just what does that mean, in a case like this? Well, Mr. Tollefson, there seems to be some loose ends in regard to what happened to your son. Morning. Good morning. Is this the Witherspoon residence? It is. I'm Sergeant Gutierrez. Hello. This is Miss Williams of Children's Services. I met your granddaughter and her mother at the Tollefson's house this morning. Uh-huh. What can I do for you? Well, um, is your granddaughter home? Yes, yeah, matter of fact, she is. Uh, I tell you, though, she's awful tired. Uh, 
from all that's been going on. Matter of fact, she's wiped right out. So if you could come back later, if you could give her a little time to rest. Unfortunately, Mr. Witherspoon, there has been a change since Chris and I talked. Well, the child is all right, isn't it? Oh, yes, sir. He's with his parents. Is Chris at home? Yeah, like I said, she's home. But what's the change? What's going on here? The Tollefsons say the baby was in perfect health when they left it in Chris's charge. They say any injury to their son has to be Chris's fault. The Sound of Music, the timeless family classic, is back and now available on video and for the first time ever on DVD. These are a few of my favorite things. Own it today. Turkey and white, extra best foods. When was the last time you really tasted what best foods mayonnaise does to a sandwich? Almost done? In a minute. Lunch isn't a race. Why eat and run? Take the time to taste the best foods. Bring out the best foods. Bring out the best. I'll lock up. Mm. As America rushes off to work, gonna make it. a little girl waits. As we check our watches to see if it's time for lunch, I'll meet you in 10 minutes. A little girl waits. I can't believe it costs that. Much. As we gripe about the cost of prescriptions, a little girl waits. Most all of the threats to and as we watch news footage of children by the thousands dying of hunger and disease and think the problem's too big, what can I do? A little girl like this waits and hopes. She hopes that someone like you will realize that even though you can't save the world, you can save one child. It takes just 80 cents a day through Christian Children's Fund. Please call. CCF is the nation's oldest and most respected child sponsorship organization. Call the number on your screen and we'll send you the picture and story of one child you can sponsor. One child you can save. There's a new face this September on PAX TV. The Video Computer Store brings the best in home television shopping to your living room every Sunday morning. Live call-ins, special guests, the latest in computer-related news. You'll find it all every Sunday morning on PAX TV. Video Computer Store monthly payment plans mean you'll get the right computer for the right price. Computer, monitor, printer, scanner, and lots of great software at an incredible package price. Tune in every Sunday morning on PAX TV. Mark John Jeffries here for People PC. Many people wonder how good a computer People PC can possibly offer for just $24.95 a month, along with unlimited internet access, in-home service, and great deals. Is a People PC computer a no-name piece of free world junk? No, my friends, it is not. In fact, when you call People PC, you get a four-star rated brand name computer for as little as $24.95 a month over 36 months. Gateway also offers a powerful machine, but they charge hundreds more overall. People PC gives you three years of in-home service. Gateway includes only one. Internet access, People PC, three years unlimited. Gateway, just one. No wonder over 85% of our members have recommended People PC to a friend. I hope this clears up any ambiguity. For a smarter, simpler way, call People PC anytime, day or night at 1-877-771-1965. Who's talking now? Shh. Oh, I think it's the police woman. What'd she say? What'd she say? I think it's something about the baby. Oh. Molly, they're down in the living room. I can't hear that well from here. Right. Maybe we could go down to the kitchen. No, Mom told us to stay upstairs, remember? We could say we were on our way to finish the laundry. Don't remind me of the laundry. It's not fun anymore. Stop being fun ten minutes after we started the weekend. I mean, it's not fun because Chris is in trouble. I could tell from Mom's face. It's serious. You're really upset about this, aren't you? Well, sure I am. Aren't you? Yeah, yeah I am. Now, how many times did you pick up the baby, let's say, during the day? What do you mean? Just picked him up to hold? How many times did you touch him? That's a dumb question, madam. A dumb question. I'm just trying to find out if there was any contact that might have produced the injury without your granddaughter knowing it. Then ask her that. Do you understand what I'm asking? Yeah, I think so. 
I changed him five times. Did you ever leave him alone on the changing table? They don't have a changing table. I changed him in his crib. And you fed him how many times? Let's see. A bottle every four hours. Um, meat and vegetables once and fruit another time. Did you pick him up at any other time? Well, sure. Uh, um, a lot. I mean, he was crying so hard. I tried everything. He'd doze off, and then ten minutes later, he'd wake up. So I picked him up to comfort him. What did you do with the baby when you picked him up? Like I said, I tried everything. I got down on the floor and played with him, with some of his toys. I walked him around and took him outside. Out? Uh, where outside? Just in the Tullifson's yard. Did you bathe him? Well, yeah. I thought it might calm him down so he could sleep. Did it? You're not listening, madam. She just told you. He couldn't sleep. Mr. Witherspoon, we have reasons for asking these questions. We are trying to find out if there was any time that the baby might have been injured without Chris knowing about it. Could have been, and he was. And I'll tell you when. You can. Before she ever got there. That's not what I mean. I know what you mean, madam, but you're asking the wrong person. The child was hurt before Chris got there. And the parents say that isn't so. They're lying. I'm going to have to tell you something you may not like to hear. Spare me. Sir, I'm going to have to insist that you stop interfering with this questioning. Or I'm going to... Or what? Are you going to throw me out of my own house? No, sir. But I can take your granddaughter down to the station and question her there. Chris, do you remember any time that the baby might have fallen and hurt himself while you were out of the room? No, I'm sure he didn't. Okay. I'd like to go back to the instructions that Mrs. Tollefson's gave you before she left. Oh, come on. Why don't you go back to when these people moved out here from Indiana? Why don't you do that? I'm going. Come on. I thought you said we couldn't go downstairs. We don't have to. Come on. Grandpa. Yeah. Somebody didn't tell us what's going on. We're scared. I don't blame you. Cops show up at your house, ask your sister a lot of questions. I don't blame you. Is Chris in trouble? Yeah. The baby she was sitting for had an injured arm. And the parents say Chris is responsible. We'll straighten it out. They think Chris would hurt a baby? What happens if they don't get things straightened out? They will, son. Tell me this. When you call the parents... <sighs> I'll try that again. Nice day. Yes, lovely. Oh, look what we got here. Oh, my goodness, what a fine baby. Thank you, we think so. How old is he? Seven months, three days. <laughs> Maybe going to be a football player, huh? Yeah, so he's been a big, healthy baby. Well, then, how's his arm? I'm sorry? His arm, how's his arm? I'm Gus Witherspoon. I'm Chrissy's grandfather. I see. And you walking on the street isn't a coincidence. No, ma'am. I, I hoped I'd run into you. I wanted to talk to you. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think there's anything to be gained by that. His safety? His baby's safety? Is that My baby is quite safe is now. He? Yes. Well, 
I'm afraid I know something about that you may not know. The fact of the matter is this baby is not safe. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me put it another way. A young mother like you leaves her baby in charge with a girl she doesn't really know, and the baby's injured. But if you knew my granddaughter like I do, you'd know she couldn't hurt that baby, and she couldn't lie about it either. Mm -hmm. So you're saying I'm lying? Maybe. Well, I would have to be, wouldn't I? If she's telling the truth. I guess you would. And why would I lie? Well, what if, what if somebody real close to you, like, like your husband? That's not true. Well, maybe it's not true, but he could have done it now, couldn't he? Well, you, you seem to be convinced that whoever did this did, did, did it intentionally. What, uh, look. What if it was an accident? If it was an accident, what you do then is you patch the kid up and you go on about your business. You don't lie about it. You're more careful next time, but you don't lie about it. You see, when it's necessary to lie about it, then something different is going on. Something that may happen again and again. My, uh, my husband, he didn't, he didn't do anything. I did. Well, you see, I hadn't planned on that. Can you think of anything worse than mother that would hurt her baby? Did you mean to hurt no. Her? I swore that I would not be like my father that I wouldn't treat my children like he treated me and yet I don't when Keith cries and I'm and I'm tired and I'm feeling fenced in and I miss the work that I did and uh, I was trying to pack and I, he was crying and I put him in the playpen and uh, and I, I he wouldn't stop crying and I just screamed and I just I don't grabbed know, him I don't know about that. I don't know who helps you in cases like this. I don't know anything about this. I've never been through it, but I know somebody can help you. And I think maybe we better start looking for him. And I'll help you. Don't get them all bunched up. Okay. Plenty of room around the edge. Mind if I come in? It looks like you're already in, sir. Uh, of course, if you'd rather, I could come back later. No, 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 no. I want to hear about your famous chili cook-off. How'd you do? Okay, okay, I did okay. What's with the flowers? Never mind about the flowers. What happened? Where'd you come in? First, second, last, what? Second. Second? Yep. So then the judges liked your... Guatemalian horseradish, was it? Oh, oh, I didn't use that. I stuck with basics. Anaheim peppers, hand ground, sausage, and a little cumin, and so forth. And you came in second. Well, the judges said that I would have won, except that it lacked one ingredient. What? Hurry, she's coming. Hold the thought, right? Well, there's my family. I... Now, what is all this? What's going on here? They're for you, Mom. Read the card. Hmm. Looks like your handwriting. Mm-hmm. How cute. Dear Mom, these flowers are for you because of everything you do around the house. Please don't change. We like you the way you are. Love, David and Molly. Oh! <laughs> oh, thanks. Good looking. Oh. All right, when you're all through with the hugging and kissing, you need to go shopping. Shopping for what? T-shirts. I need some T-shirts. You've got plenty of T-shirts. Not yeah. after this weekend, I don't. I'll be gone. Extra large T-shirts. David, why doesn't Grandpa have any T-shirts? That was the long story. Now then, what was missing? Peanut butter. Peanut butter? Right. Chunky. Now, stay tuned for Encounters with the Unexplained, next on PAX-TV.